Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I blog every day at kjaggers.com. That link is below. So welcome back to another video in my 2015 travel series. And you know, I have done quite a few travel videos already. But you know, I wanted to do an updated um, packing video. I wanted to show you how I pack our big suitcase, my carry-on. There's lots of videos gonna be coming up. I'm sorry if it's not your cup of tea. But, you know, summer is travel, and when you think about it, you know, so many of us are going on vacation with our families or our spouses, or, um, you know, we have something going on in the summer where we travel. A lot of the time, it's the same in winter when we're traveling for holidays and such. So hopefully, some of these packing videos will help um, you guys feel a little more organized when it comes to packing. You know, my knit way is not the best way. It's not the only way. It's simply my way, and I'm going to be sharing that with you. So today's video is basically all about travel prep, and I've already got some of those videos up, but this is specifically to do with packing and getting things ready um, to go into the suitcase, and, um, you know, so you don't end up somewhere in a weird destination with the stuff you really don't need um, and stuff that you've forgotten. I can't do it. Um, I really like to have things um, packed well where I have everything I think I'm going to need, a few extras, and um, not have to worry about it. So usually for me, um, starting to plan my trip, you know, obviously comes sometimes six months to a year out. Um, and I've shown that in another video, and I'll put that below, but I keep a file in my file cabinet for each trip. And I put together things that I need for that. I, um, you know, I have notes and, you know, where we're staying usually. But this time we are going on a cruise. So a lot of the cruise information is in that folder. And that's generally where it starts. Okay, so a month out generally, I really start thinking um, of outfits, especially if there's going to be a nice dinner, something I want to dress up for. I want that time to look for a dress if I need to buy a new one um, and or figure out what I'm wearing out of my closet. So there's a hair. Um, so, um, you know, I, I really like to think things out. And then as we move closer to the date that we're leaving, I start pulling out the clothes and the different things we're going to need. And that way it gives me time to get things laundered um, that I'm taking, take things to the dry cleaners, which are there right now, at least while I'm making this video. Maybe not by the time it goes live, but by the time while I'm making this, things at the dry cleaner, things with the alternative alterations lady. I try to think my clothing out. You know, I'm somebody who doesn't want to pack a ton of extra. I'm somebody who does want, you know, enough clothes to get me through. Now, while we're going on this cruise, generally, I wear three to four outfits a day. I wear, well, I start out in pajamas, of course, and I end in pajamas, but I start out in pajamas. Then I usually, on cruises, move into my shorts or day dresses to run around the boat to um, explore. Um, my swim clothes, um, you know, if I'm getting in the pool or hot tub or laying out or um, th well, then come back and get dressed for dinner. And with my mom, you know, a lot of cruises are not very formal anymore, but she likes us to dress nice at dinner. So I put on a dress and heels. And then after dinner, usually we come back to the room, put on something more comfortable, go to the comedy shows, go to the um, casino area, um, go to whatever we want. And we're usually not in our dress and heels and, you know, Scott and his tie. We usually like to change out and then we're back in pajamas. So, you know, that does leave quite a few outfits that I have to pick out. Now, Scott um, is not that organized. He never has been. I do all the packing for him um, unless we're in some type of fast emergency situation. And if that's the case, I'm not doing all of this. I'm throwing stuff in a bag and I'm getting out the door. But generally, I pack for my husband and, you know, he doesn't mind. He always has what he needs. And um, I think he is very thankful that he doesn't have to do it. So, as I said, I get things um, bought. I get them to the dry cleaners, I get them washed, and I get them altered. I get all those things done prior to the week before going. And then the week um, before going, I start, like I said, pulling things out. I'm going to show you what I mean by that um, in just a second, but I really start 
planning on what I want to take, how I want it to be in my suitcase, um, things that I don't want to forget. I have all of that, um, you know, to think of. So I'm going to take you through my setup and how I did it this time. Usually varies, but it's still the same process. The area might vary, but the process is the same. So let's have a look. So I think when you're packing for yourself, for your family, for your husband, you need a staging area. And that area is where you can stack up clothes, you can figure out what everybody's taking, you can have your luggage and everything right there. And this shelf in my bedroom is nothing special. It's a shelf I've had for years. I've used it in different parts of my house. It holds a lot of my stuff really well in, in little um, bins and I've actually taken those bins out and put them along the edge of my bed and I can put those back when I'm finished packing. Now what I've done is started thinking about what I want to wear, what I need, um, and I start doing that three to four days out. Um, now of course like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you know, if I have some big dress or something I need to go buy, I'll start that generally a month ahead um, because weight fluctuates, there's things that happen. I like to do it about a month ahead and then I have time also during that month to get things washed, to get things um, altered, and to get things dry cleaned. Um, so, um, you know, I... I really start thinking about clothing ahead of time. Now I do the same with the luggage. I've already showed with you or shared with you the the luggage that I'm taking. So um, you know I'm not going to go through that a lot, but um, there's already a video up. But I have that up here. So what I do is I just try to think things out all the way from my undergarments to my swimsuits to my socks to the different pants and shorts back in that corner to shirts to different dresses and things that I'm going to be taking. I have them all hung up and they're right here and I know that those items need to be packed. Now for Scott, I have the very same thing on the next shelf. Boxers, t-shirts, shorts, swimsuits, and I just kind of do this over time. It doesn't happen generally all the same day. Um, I sit down and I write out what I want to take, what I want to wear, and generally I use sticky notes and different things right now. I have it in my Inkwell Press Planner on the week that I am going to be on vacation. So I've utilized the space in my planner to write notes about what I want to pack, what I don't want to forget, what I need to buy, and you know, I, I basically go off this and I try to get everything out that I think we're going to need. I have heels up here that I'm taking, um, the bags that I'm taking, um, the clothes and, you know, slip-ons that I'm taking. And I don't even have all of my slip-ons. I have, like I said, all of Scott's stuff. Now, over here in these bins, really um, laundry baskets, I keep lots of stuff. So, like in this one, this one um, will fill up rather quick because this is stuff I'm going to be using to pack. So, I have the packing cubes I've already shared with you, beach bag, backpack, um, different items that I will be using to pack. I um, wasn't sure if I'd be using these, but I took them. And anything that I think I'm going to um, use to put makeup in or use to put like chargers and stuff in or clothes is in this basket. So when I go to pack, I have everything I need. Over here in this basket, I have more stuff that I want to pack. Now, you know, this will fill up rather quick with different stuff, but it's just, you know, another spot where I can add stuff to it as it comes to mind, as maybe it comes in the mail, or as I gather it up. Now, clearly, again, if you're in a big, big hurry, I understand people not doing this, but, you know, I don't like to go anywhere unprepared, so I try to try to really think things through. And, um, you know, all the way down to the handbags, um, to, to socks and just the basic necessities. And, um, you know, it's relatively easy. You just got to figure out what you're going to wear, how you're going to pack it, what you're going to pack it in and the things you need. And, you know, it's, it's just my process of doing things. I like to get things out. I like to go through items. I like to make sure there's no tears, missing buttons, just really be prepared. And, um, again, this takes a few days for me to do. I guess 
gather things up. I like to start ahead of time, so I'm not rushed. And, you know, for me, um, lists to make all of the difference. So when you're planning, figure out what you don't want to forget. Figure out what you need to pack. Figure out the things you need to do at home. I actually have a video up on how to prepare your home if you are going to be on vacation. I will link that in. What shopping you need to do, what you need to do before, and what you need to do um, at home. I even have orders listed out that was on its way in. I also have gifts that I'm bringing people that I need to remember to bring. This area um, is just more information that helps me stay organized. It's so, so simple to do. I have packing lists and all kinds of things I've shared in other videos. Again, I will link those below, but it's just about being prepared, you guys, and thinking things through. I always look up the weather on where I'm going to be um, and try to pack accordingly. You can't always do that, but it doesn't hurt to to look ahead and see what the forecast is and try to plan. Um, and it doesn't hurt to get your suitcases out, to get them cleaned out. Lots of times we find stuff still in pockets. Um, and, you know, if you're flying, you really got to consider, you know, the size of the bottles that you're taking. I am taking a cruise this year for vacation, so I'm not too worried about the different size bottles. But if you are flying, I also have a um, fly safe video that I will also link below, but you do have to be more um, conscious of the different size items you take. Even on the cruise, you got to be conscious of how heavy your suitcases are because it's hard for the people to lift them and get them into your rooms if they're super heavy. So there's lots to consider when you're packing. And what I do generally is start out with my clothes. I start out with the dresses I'm wearing, the outfits I'm I'm wearing to dinner, and those outfits I want to kind of match with my husband. So I get my stuff ready first, and then I base Scott's wardrobe, well, his main wardrobe off, you know, what my dinner attire is going to be. So that way we don't look like, you know, the rainbow stepping into the, um, the, the restaurant. It's just silly so I like things to be matched up but now our day clothes we're we're open we can we can wear whatever we want um but again I start with mine and then I don't just start with clothes I get out different accessories I um figure out what I want to go with me um and I also check out the clothes I'm taking make sure I have the appropriate undergarments because nothing's worse than needing a strapless bra and not having one been there done that it's very, very difficult sometimes to find one in a in a hurry. So um, I always like to make sure all of that is ready. And to get my suitcases ready, I explained this in the suitcase video, I simply like to take dryer sheets and put them under the lining to help make things smell better. Lavender sachets work great. And, um, you know, there's lots of different ways you can organize your stuff um, to make it smell really good. Um, there's lots of different tips but simple dryer sheets work phenomenally well and they're cheap so you know I really do try to plan ahead I try to get everything ready I iron what I can ahead of time and fold it neatly to go into a bag um, and again the packing cubes and different items I'm using to pack will make life so much easier and I'm going to show you how I pack things up and get them in the suitcases and ready to go in the upcoming videos so if you're into these travel videos videos definitely stay tuned because I will be sharing you know lots of those videos coming up but it's just about taking time and thinking things through that's really what it is the more kids you have the more planning you have to do when I'm traveling with Jackson Brittany Zane um, any of the grandbabies anybody I try to plan accordingly so you know definitely make the time it's going to make stuff so much easier if you plan your packing out i know it's not ideal none of us really like to have to do this some of us are still wearing the clothes that we're packing but you can wash and put them up as you go um which is what i do um when you're planning a trip and remember a lot of places you go you're going to be able to wash your clothes um a lot of hotels have laundry services the cruise that i'm taking has laundry services so you don't always have to pack a ton you can pack good staple items and 
you know, wash them out and about if you need to. So that's another consideration. There's so many different ones um, that you really do need to consider. And um, when you're doing this, when you're pre-planning and you're pre-packing, basically, it uh, makes you see what you have and what you might be missing. Just like I said, with the strapless bra, you see if you're missing, say, a tank top that needs to go under a sheer blouse or what have you, you can see that ahead of time. No one wants to be unprepared so it's so much easier to just start ahead of time and that's exactly what I've done I've just got out the outfits that I plan on wearing a lot of Scott stuff is at the dry cleaners right now besides his shorts and his swimsuits and all of that kind of stuff and when you're planning a trip you also have to plan the bags like we're going to a beach so we will need a beach bag so I have one of those um Depending on what kind of place you're going to, you might want some crossbody bags where it's at the front and not in the back or on your shoulder. There's so many things to consider, and I try to grab pieces that are neutral. So you can see most of the shoes I'm taking along with these, my pink Nikes, my new white tennis shoes that are not out here yet. Um, all of those um, are pretty neutral and can be wore with more than one dress. I could even wear those neutrals with this dress or those black heels with this dress. Again, it's about picking statement pieces that are classic that you don't have to um, take a lot of different things for. Um, again, like a little black clutch is perfect for almost any dinner that you're going to. And again, it's just classic pieces. So, um, you know, it just takes a little bit of extra time, a little bit of extra planning, but you're going to thank yourself later for it when you have everything you need and you're not like some other people missing, you know, different things that they wish they would have brought. So another part of pre-packing is getting the folder ready. I have shown this a little bit before. For every vacation or every trip we take, which is non-emergency, of course, I have a folder and I just label it with whatever vacation we're going on. Now in this folder, there's lots of information pertaining the trip that we're taking. So if you're flying, maybe you would print out your um, you know, your boarding passes, or if you're driving, maybe you'll have your rental car receipts or your hotel reservations that you printed off. This is all stuff pertaining to our cruise. So we have like our boarding passes. I'm going to kind of hold the camera up so I don't show any real details. Um, you know, just lots of information about our cruise. And um, I have like our luggage tags that we need. I also have lots of different packing lists that, um, you know, are very helpful when planning um, your outfits and the things you need to take. Um, and along with the notes and sticky pads um, kind of notes, that is more than enough. And these folders are very helpful for us. You know, we always take them with us. They're not thick. We can put them in the bottom of the suitcase. They're not going to take up, or really my carry-on, they're not going to take up hardly any room. They're not going to be heavy. But coming back, Usually inside every one of these folders that we take is the paperwork or the memorabilia that that is more like paper or pictures that all goes in this folder. And then when I come home, I file it away until I'm ready to scrapbook or put some of those items in a photo album. Um, and it, it has a perfect spot in my file cabinet. So, you know, I just think these are important. And as you plan and we start doing this from the minute we know we're going on the trip we start looking up weather the forecast is in here we start looking up um, different things we want to do and we start figuring out where we're staying and where we're eating and we print off a lot of that information right here at home now if you're somebody who really does not have a printer you can always take a couple hours and head to your local library and start doing some research on where you're traveling and you know you can always use their printers or you can maybe have your husband print it off at his work um, if you stay at home and he works outside the home um, but I find this is this is wonderful I even have stuff in here for the pet sitter um, that I need to update but it's in here because I know I need to do it and a lot of times this will have sticky notes on the inside driving directions um, I have a folder for like every trip and we go on a lot so um, this has just been a really helpful part of prepacking just to make things easier. And again, it always goes with us. 
Okay, so you can see it's simple things that keep you, um, you know, on schedule and keep you organized. Um, you know, this shelf is not the most beautiful shelf ever. I really need to buy a new one, but it's been working great as a bookshelf. And I just took stuff off and used those two shelves as I showed you for clothes, my clothes and Scott's clothes. I have the luggage up here because this is where I'm going to be packing. So everything that I'm using for the packing is up here, as you saw in the that laundry basket with the different packing cubes, the different bags um, that I'm going to be using. And then, as I showed you in the other laundry basket, is things I don't want to forget to pack. Now, all of my last minute items, um, such as my toothpaste and my toiletries and my, you know, um, makeup, um, all of that um, gets put in a little more towards last minute. Of course, it has to, but I'd pack as much as I can ahead of time. And I'm going to be sharing with you in upcoming videos how I pack our big suitcase in one video, how I pack my carry-on in another, the makeup I'm taking on vacation. I'm doing a bunch of packing videos, you guys. I hope that you really do find these helpful, and I hope somewhere along the way you pull out some inspiration from these videos that will make packing for your next trip easier. So that's my goal, my hope, and um, yeah, so we have many more coming up, and remember, if you're watching this video, a lot of the videos are not going on my blog until I get back um, from vacation. So if you're watching on Facebook or if you're watching on YouTube or on my blog, head over to my YouTube channel, click on my name, get subscribed. That way you won't miss any new videos while we're away. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear you. Leave those below. I might not read them or respond till I get back, but I promise I will. And again, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.